size. How you doing? It's Henry. At Moors and Blue. Good morning. Recently, I got this package in the mail. It's from Yes Welder. You know what this is? It's not a welder, although they make welders. This is a plasma cutter. I've never had a plasma cutter before, ever. I've seen them on TV. You know, I didn't know that you needed to connect compressed air to it. I guess that's what gives it the that sound, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll be honest with you, since I've never had this before, <laughs> I'm a little intimidated by it. <clears throat> it's supposed to just cut steel, you know? Um, I wonder if it cuts aluminum. It doesn't say that in the website, but uh, it'd be pretty interesting to try. Uh, although I don't know if I have enough nerve to try it. Uh, but let's take this out of the box and see what we see. First thing, the first thing we have in this box is this little bracket thing. Oh man, it looks like one of those big halogen light bulbs, you know? I might have to read the instructions for this one. Clear rubber tubing. <laughs> right now I'm completely perplexed. I have no idea what that's for. This is the uh, cutting gun, if you will, and line. Two twenty power adapter, so you can use this with one ten AC for two twenty. You just plug the one ten in here, and you can use two twenty. I don't have two twenty in my house, so uh, I don't know. Maybe I do. Uh, the dryer, right, has the triple prong. Uh, the ground wire, the ground hose. And last but not least, the plasma cutter itself. And here's what it looks like. Nice teal color. Looks like a mini CPU for a computer desktop. Also looks like a welder, right? Here we have the instruction manual or user manual. While I normally don't read the instructions, being that this is something that could be dangerous if you didn't know how to use it, which I don't know how to use, right? Um, I mean, I weld, you know, so I kind of know, but uh, this is a little different, you know what I mean? So I might have to go through these instructions a little bit. Uh, in this bag with the instruction manual are two uh, connectors. Uh, brass looks like about half inch but being this is probably from China maybe it's millimeters I need to figure out what this thing my Bob is like I said it looks like a how big halogen bulb yeah I don't know what that is so I might have to read the instructions the ground cable I mean, that definitely makes sure you're grounded, for sure. It just looks different from your usual ground um, clamp, you know? This we're probably not going to need, because I'm not going to use it under 220. No idea what this hose is for. Let's take this out of the bag. There we go. Got some kind of a metal ring there. An attachment that has power and ground. Getting kind of scared. Little installation tool, I believe. Uh, so I'm gonna read the instructions a little bit, see where everything goes. That's probably the best course of action. You wanna be safe. So first of all, I read through the whole thing, okay? Instructions suck. Doesn't tell you anything about how to put this thing together, okay? I had to just go by the attachments, you know? 
this is obvious the gun right and it could only go in one way so that's that then you put the red power wire on this one and then the black ground wire in that right and then this one here is the ground clamp right that's all self-explanatory shows you a diagram in there but it doesn't actually show you exactly what to do so to somebody who's never had a plasma cutter i.e me i had no idea what any of that stuff meant you know but just from my experience going with the attachments that's good okay so here's a close-up view of what it looks like there's a knob there duty cycle adjustments power uh how much power how how fast whatever so if you look at the uh connections here this is self-explanatory ground for red black negative over here you have the ground cable and of course the cable to the gun okay so to a guy who's never had a plasma cutter before i still don't know what that is this is like a bracket to hold this, probably. Uh, it looks like the way this fits, this would go in like that and mount on the back of the machine. You'd remove this nut over here, put that on, put the nut back on. These things look like fittings that would go in there. It has the shark type attachments where you would stick in a hose and you couldn't pull it back out again until, unless you depressed this blue thing. No instructions on that at all. Doesn't even show this in the instructions. Obviously a gauge that would go on there too. And the hose is probably goes into this fitting and comes out the other end. But uh, where do you stick your air? You know what I mean? It doesn't have any instructions on this hose, that filter, this gauge, these two... Um, fittings and this bracket there's not one picture of any of this doesn't even mention this stuff exists so how would i connect the the air in the back of this it's only this fitting right here this fitting here looks like the, those fittings over here so i'm thinking the hose goes in there goes into the filter you mount the filter there and then where does it go you know what i mean do you try to fit this end of a hose to an air compressor? This air compressor? It says that you need between four and eight uh, CFMs. Well, my air compressor is six CFMs at 40 pounds per square inch. It says something about 70 pounds per square inch. So that's within that, four to six, four to eight, I have 5.4 at 90 pounds per square inch. So this air compressor will do. But the fitting to the air compressor looks like that. So how is this going to go on that uh, rubber hose? Well, I wish they'd tell me because it doesn't say anything in these instructions. So that's very bad right there. Okay, so I've mounted this air slash water filter with gauge. Put the hose into there, the input for the hose. And the, the long hose over here. So how am I going to connect this hose to that air compressor? Now this air compressor is going to be pumping out all kinds of pressure. Does this hose look, look like it will withstand the pressure of that tank? The air going into this cheap hose? where you can just simply pull this out hard if you want with this glass thing over here. Now look, when I blow into this, the air just comes right out there, okay? Now I understand the pressure is heavy, so when you blow it, the pressure will push that uh, check valve down but I mean honestly, I don't really feel very safe pumping uh, that amount of pressure air into this cheap hose. Won't this glass just blow up, you know? I don't see the, where's the attachment from this securely onto 
a air compressor hose, you know? I just don't know, man. So I've been studying it, and I figure I'd take this one out of there and shove the attachment of my hose into this one. It does fit. And now, we're gonna attach this hose on here. So now the air input will be going in here. And I'm just going to turn it on and see if this thing explodes. Because they give me no other choice. Here we go. It's, it's completely leaking everywhere. It's not holding any air at all. Never seen anything like it. So the tool that they gave me, this thing here, doesn't fit anything. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like I've got it connected. It is leaking air out of there slowly, but maybe it's designed to do that. Still holding decent pressure in the air compressor. Gauge also shows a similar number. Uh, I got this <laughs> Craftsman LT1000 lawn tractor hood. I have a lot of them. Uh, this is pretty uh, strong sheet metal, okay? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut that <laughs> and see if it works. Uh, I will tell you, I'm a little afraid, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little frightened, but I'm gonna plug it in. And it's uh, showing voltage, right? It's uh, 118. Do I touch that at all? I don't seem to be doing nothing here. Nothing's happening. Oh, I need to turn it on the back. Cool. Okay, we can turn the dial. I don't know what these numbers mean. I'll just keep it around that. Flashing green, meaning okay. <laughs> There's the ground. Okay, here I go. It has a trigger guard here, so you have to lift it to put your finger there. A lot of air's coming out of here and then it stops. So maybe I don't have a good ground, maybe? So it did do something, but it didn't do much. Maybe if I turn this knob up higher. And it only, only goes up to 45. 
two T's. Oh shoot. Good. I've adjusted some knobs, I have no idea. I want to say there's too much air and it blows out the flame. When the flame wants to come out, the air blows it away. I think there's too much air. All right, well, uh, check it out. I turned up the knobs and it did cut that. And then my circuit breaker, breaker blew. So there's a little piece of it. We see it does work. I just don't know enough about the dialing it in to get it to work flawlessly. I'm not a welder, you know, but uh, it seems like this little thing will be able to work provided you knew enough about how to dial in all this stuff, you know. I will say it was, the instructions were no help at all. You either have to be an, an already experienced plasma cutter guy that has used a plasma cutter before but for the new layperson like me, who has never had a plasma cutter before, has no idea how to set this thing up, uh, and even though I do have an idea, I still couldn't get it to smoothly operate as you see on TV. But maybe I'm doing something wrong, I'm pretty sure I am. It's not like the instructions helped you at all. This is completely useless. And I'm not about to learn an entire trade just for the review. But I could see that it does work. It is small and compact. A lot of assembly required. It was a pain in the butt, right? Either way, it looks like it does work for the person who knows how to use a plasma cutter. It's not exactly for the person off the street to just pick it up, plug it in and go. It's definitely not that. But if you're a professional plasma cutter, this thing may be a uh, valuable and uh, um, economical way for you to do things. I don't believe this is very expensive. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested. But thank you very much for joining me on today's plasma cutter video. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. you guys enjoy the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers really appreciate all the support also to keep the videos coming every day support the channel bye